In this video, we will be factoring a polynomial function from information that we get from the graph of the function. Some things that you'll notice, first of all, our polynomial function is a fifth degree polynomial. So we have an odd degree. And we also notice that the lead coefficient is negative. So our end behavior of our function should be one arm up, one arm down. And um, since it's a negative lead coefficient, it's going to have n behavior that looks like this, which we can see from our graph. It does indeed, the left arm is going up and the right arm is going down. We also see that we have zeros here and here and here and here. Now we need to determine the numbers for those zeros. Um, looks like our axis is numbered uh, by ones, so one, two, three, four, five. So this zero is at negative six. This zero is at negative one. This zero is at one, two, three. And this zero is at five. Now remember when uh, the graph cuts through the axis at a zero, that means it's an odd multiplicity. So I should have x minus negative six as one of my factors, and it'll either be to the first power or some odd power. This zero, since my graph bounces off of the axis, is going to be in an even exponent. So I have x minus negative 1, and it'll be to the second power or possibly the fourth power. It depends We'll check all of them and see if we have a fifth degree um, when we're finished. Uh, for this zero, I'm going to have a factor of x minus 3. And since it cuts through the axis, uh, that'll be to an odd power. And then this one also is cuts through the axis, so I have an odd exponent and it'll be x minus 5. Now if I leave these as they are, if I leave these factors as they are, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is my fifth degree polynomial as it is. Um, remember that um, I had a negative lead coefficient of negative 1. So I'll go ahead and put my negative here. And um, I just need to clean this up a little bit, and that'll be my function. So f of x equals a negative x plus 6, x plus 1 quantity squared, x minus 3, and x minus 5. This is my factored form of the polynomial that was graphed for me.